Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. My today's project is how to create this beautiful gift box for Mother's Day with the surprise gift inside it. Yes, I have created everything. And inside the box, you will get the beautiful pair of quilling earrings. Yes, these are also handmade and I am going to show you how to create these earrings in this video. They are looking super gorgeous and it's looking like a ready made. So without any further delay, let's start with the procedure. For this we need liquid glue, some stones, earring base that is stud, flower cap, jump ring, tea pin, big and small size pearl, pearl chain, quilling mold, quilling tool, some 2 mm quilling strips and plier so first i am making a ring for this i am taking this bottle cap which is having 1.5 cm diameter and using 2 strips of pink color i am making a ring So this is done. Now just pinch in the corner and make a teardrop shape. So you will get a drop ring. In the same way I have created one more ring using my glue bottle which is having 3 cm diameter so again I am making one more teardrop using this ring and now I am going to join both the teardrops with each other so just add little glue on top and connect like this allow it to dry for some time then for the inner decoration I am taking this 1 8th strip of yellow color and making one tight coil. For today's project I am using 2 mm strips only but you can use 3 mm also. In the same way I have created some tight coils and these tight coils are made using 1 16th strip. So here I am taking 1 16th strip of yellow and creating a small teardrop shape. Very tiny. So we need 2 small teardrops like this now I will start adding these shapes around my inner teardrop so just adding glue and start adding these shapes one by one like this now for the next row I am taking 1 8 strip of pink 1 8 strip of white and 1 4 strip of green and I am making one tight coil so I am adding these tight coils one by one and for the corners again I have created two teardrops using 1 8 strip of pink color So this is done. Now for the next shape I am taking 1 4th strip of yellow, 1 4th strip of pink and making one tight coil. 
and I am going to add these 7 tight coils in the bottom. like this now I'm taking some stones and I'm decorating these tight coils I'm not adding stone on the center tight coil because we need to pass jump ring through this in the same way I'm adding stones in back side like this allow it to dry completely now here I'm taking one fourth strip of green one fourth strip of pink and one fourth strip of yellow color and I'm making one tight coil this tight coil I'm creating for the stud now in the center of this I'm adding one stone again like this now adding glue around it and adding pearl chain all the supply links are given in description box you can buy from those links like this now taking back my earring and in the bottom I'm adding one big size pearl so I have already added very quick that is strong adhesive to connect my pearl so in the bottom of the stud I am adding this pearl hold it for some time now add little glue on the top of your earring and connect the stud like this okay then I am taking two strips of pink color and making one tight coil dome like this now just add glue inside this and allow it to dry so for the sake of video I have already prepared one dome and added glue inside this and it's completely dried now I'm wrapping one piece of pearl chain around it here I'm creating hanging for the earring which I'm going to add in the bottom now taking one T pin insert one small pearl through this and then I'm inserting through the dome then add little glue on top and adhere flower cap then taking back my earring and from back side I'm adding this metal stud so I have already added strong adhesive on back side and just sticking it like this you can use B6000 or Feviquick now I am cutting the excess wire from the hanging and just rotating it using plier and creating a loop like this now insert one jump ring through the bottom center tight coil then insert your hanging and secure this jump ring
and the earring is ready very easy now i'm just putting the earring and securing it from back side and this is ready to gift it's looking very gorgeous trust me and to keep this i am making one box so to create box i am taking this white color sheet this measures 14 by 14 cm and from all four sides i have marked on 2.5 cm so i am folding from all four sides these 2.5 cm crease this paper is having 300 gsm thickness now i'm just cutting from all four sides and constructing my box So box is ready. Now to create lid, I'm taking this piece of sheet which measures 9.3 by 30 centimeters, and just put your box and fold the sheet according to the shape of box, and that's it. Your slider lid is ready. Now we just need to secure it from backside. So I'm just adding little glue and securing it. And this is done now I'm quickly decorating my box from inside and outside using some pattern papers so I have added pattern papers like this and it's looking super gorgeous very matte and very pastel shade I'm just adding some paper shredding inside this and putting my cute handmade earrings now just close your box And now I'm decorating the top using this paper doily. Then I'm adding this cute bird cutout in one corner. And then adding Happy Mother's Day sentiment. And then I'm decorating using some handmade flowers and leaves. Like this. It's looking very gorgeous. Allow it to dry for some time. And the beautiful gift box for Mother's Day is ready. And inside the box, we have added our handmade quilling earrings. I'm sure you will try this before Mother's Day for your moms. And I'm sure they are going to like it very, very much. I just enjoyed this process very much. So, my project is done for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. I am waiting for your comments guys. Don't forget to share. I will try to come with more new ideas very soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.